question number four. The rate of reaction between magnesium and dilute hydrochloric acid can be followed by measuring the volume of hydrogen produced. Plan an experiment to investigate the effect of decreasing the temperature on the rate of this reaction by measuring the volume of hydrogen produced. You are provided with magnesium ribbon, dilute hydrochloric acid, and common laboratory apparatus. You are advised to draw a labeled diagram of the apparatus you would use in the space provided. So let's analyze this question. For the materials involved include magnesium and dilute hydrochloric acid. So you see that there's a solid, which means that most likely you need to measure its mass, all right, in grams. And then dilute hydrochloric acid is actually a solution. So whenever you talk about solutions, you should think of concentration and also the volume, its volume. Okay, so, and then we also have the volume of hydrogen gas produced. Okay, so this is the volume of gas, which means that most likely you need a gas fringe. Okay, or otherwise using an inverted burette. Okay, let's just for use get a gas fringe instead. So plan an experiment to investigate the effect of decreasing the temperature. So the word temperature is mentioned means that you should think of uh, using using a thermometer. All right. So having rate rate the word rate tells you that you should be using a stopwatch. Okay, because rate is related to time so it will be uh, you will need a stopwatch for that so you have magnesium ribbon dilute hydrochloric acid and common laboratory laboratory apparatus all right so having understanding the the objects of the question okay we should think of variables okay my tip to students is that you should think of the variables what is the question about so variables, there are three types, which is the constant variable, the manipulated variable, as well as the responding variable. So manipulated variable will be the temperature. Okay, responding will be of the rate of the reaction, which in uh, in a quantitative manner, it will be the volume of hydrogen gas produced. Per time. Okay, so that's how you find out the responding variable. And then for the constant variable, it's every, every other variable other than these two variables. So including the masses, okay, the concentration and the volume of HCl, etc. All right, so regarding the setup, okay, this is a rate setup, so it means that you will need a stopwatch and then having, uh, essentially, you need a conical flask maybe to uh, fill the acid with and then put the magnesium ribbon into the acid and then followed by a rubber stopper with a delivery tube. Okay, delivery tube. Then this delivery tube is connected to a syringe. Okay, a syringe instead. So having that said, okay, so you have a syringe here. Okay, so that's the rough sketch of the setup. Okay, you can search for more accurate diagrams on the internet. Then, okay, so let's let's do it step by step. So first, you must weigh. Okay, weigh. A specific a specific amount of magnesium ribbon okay so uh so we uh, x grams of magnesium ribbon okay followed by since the dilute hydrochloric acid is already provided so you just use a specific volume okay so uh use a specific volume of hydrochloric acid okay and then with that, you mix them together, you mix them together, and then connect them to the via the delivery tube to the gas range. 
okay, the moment you add the magnesium ribbon into the solution, you should straight away close it, okay, so that all the gases can pass from the conical flask to the gas range and it gets recorded, it gets measured, all right? So also start the timer, start the stopwatch, okay? So how do we measure rate? It's always useful to have a specific intervals, time intervals, when you measure the volume of hydrogen gas. Okay, so maybe every 10 seconds, every uh, 20 seconds, depending on the experiment. Okay, so you just say, uh, use a stopwatch and then like measure, measure the volume of hydrogen gas. Okay, uh, at fixed time intervals. All right, then you just, because this experiment, uh, we're not done yet. The specific idea is that it's regarding temperature. So essentially, you need to repeat, okay, repeat the above steps at different temperatures. Okay, in different temperatures. I will say the easier, the easier method to manipulate temperature, maybe you should think of uh, affecting the, you should try to maybe heat, heat up or cool down the hydrochloric acid. Okay, so that it's easier to be carried out if you were to take this, uh, do this ex a similar experiment in paper five. Okay, so with that said, essentially the next mark is just compare. Well, you compare this, compare the different sets, and essentially you can form a conclusion out of your observation. Okay, your recorded results. All right, so that's pretty much. Let me see if I miss anything. Essentially, this question is six marks, so you need to have six points. Okay, we have the weight amount of magnesium. We have the volume of hydrochloric acid. We have the gas range. We have the timer. Oh, so this is so this is one mark. This is another mark. Okay, so meaning we have seven marks here. Okay, uh, so you just need to pick six, and then you should be able to get a full score out of this question. Okay, so that's all for this paper. Uh, the discussion for this paper. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more past paper discussions.